Just Dance Greatest Hits. Or it should be called Just Dance Gimme All Your Money! Seriously, Ubisoft? Another Just Dance game? I have been a big supporter of your series, but even I am sick of these releases. What's worse is this is just a mashup of the two previous games, Just Dance 1 and Just Dance 2. But it's at least more honest than their previous release last summer called Just Dance Summer Party. Or as it should have just been called, Just Dance 2 Downloadable Content Edition. It was just a collection of the downloadable songs off Just Dance 2. You guys don't know how extremely tempted I was to just cut my two reviews of Just Dance and Just Dance 2 together and release that as the review to this game. Kind of like what I did with my dogs and cats review. But this isn't as blatant as that was. But after playing it for a while, I found a few things that really bugged me. So I thought I'd just go ahead and do the review. Now I'm going to assume that you played a Just Dance game before. If this is your first experience in the game, if not, very quickly, this is a game where you replicate the dance moves on the screen for points. Oh, and welcome to 2009. The layout is pretty much the same as Just Dance 3. It had a very simple and clean feel of it. However, the dance moves were direct copies from the original game. Now that might not sound like a problem, but there was a difference between the original Just Dance and Just Dance 2, and that's the glowing hand positions. In the first game, the characters on the screen didn't have a colored area where you should hold your Wiimote. The second game had it because people really wanted it, so it might upset the people who are used to the on-screen guide, because it sure annoyed me. Why not have a little bit of consistency, Ubisoft? Take the time to release this game right. The second problem is the one I have with all the other Just Dance games, in the fact that there are way too many cover songs. Covering lesser known songs is fine, but if you're going to do it, do it right. The covered songs range from alright to just downright awful. I already remarked in one of my other reviews of Just Dance about the fact they made a worse version of Barbie Girl. And they actually put it in this one too! Did you not listen to the song Ubisoft? How can this be on the greatest hits of anything? What is it, the greatest hits of the worst songs ever covered? My last complaint has to do with the price itself. It's currently priced at $40. Okay, let's do a little math. I have seen all the Just Dance games go for about $20 lately. That includes the Summer Mix, Just Dance the Original, Just Dance 2, even Just Dance 3. Now you can have both of the games and have more songs for the same price as what you're offering now. Sure you won't get every song in this collection, but it sure feels like a better deal. Just Dance to the Greatest Hits feels like a money grab. Ubisoft did the least amount of effort into this release. Okay, okay, that's not true. They did change the graphical interface to the one that came with Just Dance 3. So I guess they didn't do the absolute minimum. Just slightly more work than they needed to do. When this title finally comes down to $20 as it really should right now, I'd say go for it. If you don't own the original Just Dance or Just Dance 2, of course. If you do, there's no reason in the world you should buy this.